In Oslo, an explosive fire occurs in the container terminal of the Sidhavna port close to the city centre. Several containers damaged in the accident let out hazardous substances. A toxic cloud causes numerous victims in the harbour and its surroundings. This is the starting point of Harbour X-15, an international full-scale civil protection exercise. The emergency plan is triggered. The wind pushes highly toxic vapours towards the city and the disaster overwhelms the country's response capacity. International assistance is requested to the European Emergency Response Coordination Centre. Norway uh, is traditionally uh, a fairly uh, peaceful place, but we've seen national tragedies in the recent years. No single country is uh, fully independent. The need for international solidarity is very important. But for that solidarity to actually work in practice, you need also to exercise together. You need to be linked up in uh, practical ways. And what we've seen here today is very clearly an expression of such uh, international cooperation in practice. The disaster scales up. The fire spreads to oil tanks, putting even more pressure on the emergency units who operate under the critical eye of the observers. Considering the dimension of the disaster, the European Emergency Response Coordination Centre rapidly sends a team of experts to Oslo. Using the EU delegation as a base, they liaise with local authorities and collect the information needed. This is the first time that a European Union delegation has actually been used as part of an exercise like this. Certainly if it's not the first time, it's an early experience. And I think for us it's been a good chance to test whether that works and what role we can play. Um, you know, the, the team came into the delegation yesterday morning, they had to set everything up from scratch. So I think we will learn some lessons from that about what we would do in a crisis situation. And I think uh, we can also help the colleagues coming in for the team to find their contacts. So we have a role to play there a little bit. In response to the Norwegian requests, assistance is promptly provided by Sweden and Austria. In the field, toxic smoke now threatens the population. Areas need to be evacuated downtown. The operation mobilizes hundreds of rescuers, psychologists, doctors and logisticians. Not only that, a ship grounding simultaneously occurs just outside of the harbour. It causes emissions of bunker oil from the involved vessel in the inner Oslo fjord. One more incident that provides realistic challenges for national teams and EU mechanism experts to test their procedures and to gain further experience for a more efficient prevention, preparedness and response. We have to work on these three different uh, ways, pre prevention, preparedness and response together. There is no uh, possibility to leave one behind. If we want to get prepared again, if we want to have an efficient response, we have to work on the three sides at the same time. And that's what we are doing at the Emergency uh, Response Coordination Centre of the European Commission. The exercise mobilised more than 3,000 participants from more than 30 organisations in three countries. No doubt, it will contribute to ensuring a more efficient response to natural and man-made disasters in a swift, pre-planned and effective manner thereby increasing the safety of EU citizens and disaster victims worldwide. <laughs>